Okay, it's Craig here. I wasn't going to do a video on this, mainly because it's a poo line wild thing. You know, we all know they're junk. A uh, customer brought it in. It would idle. He could get it started. It would idle. It would run good, and then it acted like it was running out of gas. Uh, so I immediately done pressure vacuum test on it. Uh, passed with flying colors. Didn't even drop a half a pound over 10 minutes. So then I started going a little bit deeper. Uh, I knew there must have been something else wrong with it. So I, as I, before I'd done the, the pressure vac, I, of course I had the muffler off. I've got it blocked. Piston and cylinder look very, very, very good. Just a, a couple small scuff marks on the piston down toward the bottom of the skirt. Um, nothing that I was even remotely worried about. So I thought, well, let me just take the carburetor apart because it's got an aftermarket carburetor on it. No markings on it. So, looks clean on this side. Needle, if you look at the needle, or not the needle, but the, meter, the, the metering lever, it looks like it's pretty close. So I took the other side off, and here's what I found. And that's what this video is about. Just because your saw acts like it's bogging down and it gives you um, indications that it could be an air leak a vacuum leak don't always assume that's what your problem is that is completely plugged up with an exception to just a little bit on the side that's sawdust finds so that tells me that the filter is not doing its job. So, look at all that shit. I'm not 100% sure, but I would just about lay the labor charge on this saw that that's what his problem is. Somebody has been in there before because it's got Tigon lines on it. Lines on it. Um, it's actually starting to drip a little gas. I'm going to have to plug that. So, I would just about say either the filter is off of it, or the filter has been taken out and somehow compromised, and it's letting these little fines get past. So, I'll drain the gas out of it and um, pull that filter out of it and see what it looks like. Um, okay. Dump the gas out of the gas tank on that Poulon Wild thing, and here's what fell out of it. The hose, come on, focus. There you go. The hose has evidently um, got deteriorated in that ethanol gas. Looks like it broke, split off. And probably why it was running out of gas, acting like it was starving. Because the fuel line was probably riding up on top. The tank was almost two-thirds full of gas. So there's no reason why it shouldn't have ran if everything would have been integral here and, and, and solid. So, again, just because your soul starts acting up, acts like it's sucking air. Don't always believe that's what it is. Um... This right here was the issue, and this allowed that carburetor to suck all them fines up in there and plug that up. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that Tigon. I'll put some good steel, or either R1 or R2 in it. I'm not sure. I can't remember which one fits it, because I know it's two different sizes. Now, I'll get the guy all fixed up, and um, this filter here, it looks like it's still in good shape. So, I'll reuse this. It is a weighted filter. Keep that um, line down in the gas. Okay, uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this um, video was informational, and we'll see you all in the next one. Okay, <clears throat> what we have here today is that Poulin Wild thing, done the fuel lines. Um, to be honest with you, it's been so long, I can't even remember what I've done to it now. 
I'm just going to do a couple little cuts with it, show you how it runs. Uh, one issue I did have with it, the fuel cap has a plastic, kind of like a half circle retainer that keeps it inside the tank when you take it off. That was catching the fuel line when I was tightening the cap down and it was, it was pulling the fuel line up so when it got to about a half a tank it would run, stop, stutter, you know, act like it was running out of gas and that's what I found with it. Once I cut that off, the fuel line lays down in the bottom of the tank now and it'll run the tank empty. I have done quite a bit of cutting with it. Um, it has been probably a week now since I've had it running. So this is going to be a truly cold start. So I did put some gas in it, did put some bar oil in it. So we'll go ahead and see what she runs like. adjusted this a little bit. A little fat on the top, a little fat here on the bottom. Oh you know what? I don't have the it takes a spline tool, not a not a screwdriver. So we'll start it back up and I'll make another cut. see the, the wood chips here that it's cutting. Of course that has a little homeowner saw, 325 pitch chain, a little low pro. For what it is it's cutting pretty good. That is an aftermarket carburetor. You know it's, it's kind of finicky. I don't like the aftermarkets on these but it is what it is. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this string of videos. Catch you in the next one. Everybody take care.